welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here what's up my name is lisa definitely make sure you subscribe so i thought it would be really fun to do a shoe collection because i feel like my collection has grown a lot um i think i did one before i can't tell if it was sneakers or just i think it was all shoes um, my collection has grown a lot since and i thought it'd be fun to show you also because i have a bunch of new like sandals and stuff for holiday so i thought maybe i can give you guys some inspo or if you're just looking for sneakers and boots and sandals um for the upcoming seasons so i have a little bit of everything everything's down here let me show you it's a lot i only have like two pairs of heels but besides that it's like all sneakers boots and sandals so uh yeah i'm gonna be trying everything on so while i'll talk about it you'll see a try on clip on the side and hope you enjoy so i think where am i gonna start oh my god i think i'm just gonna start in the front and then work towards the back so the sandals will be at the end first shoe i'm gonna show you are these and these are my these were my first designer sneakers so these are the balenciaga triple s um they have hot pink and black and white you can't really see that one on camera it's a little washed out so these are my first designer sneaker i have to say i never wear these anymore and the only reason why is because they're so heavy when i first got these i didn't mind how heavy they were but as soon as i started wearing like other shoes and sneakers that weren't as heavy i now literally cannot wear these anymore maybe i'll sell them i don't know i feel like i can't really get rid of them because they were like my first pair and i still think they're quite cute if you can't deal with heavy shoes i wouldn't recommend um but they are really cute so some of these are also kind of dirty i'm sorry i never clean my shoes the second pair i have are these jordan ones these are the high and they are in the color dark mocha i needed these when i saw they were coming out because i love jordans but a lot of them have red in them and i don't ever wear red so when i saw these i was like i need these i love neutral colors especially in shoes so these are my favorite jordans or like jordan ones that i have i would 10 out of 10 recommend i'm definitely going to wear these more during like fall winter because i feel like the color is just more fall winter but these are really cool i got these um actually through a reseller and i just ended up dming him i was like hey when these come out can we like work together because i didn't want to pay for them because resale price is like so expensive and i was like i'm not doing that so i actually worked with this guy who resells sneakers and he gave me them for free in return of promo so yeah that's how i got these i will leave some links down below i think i'm just gonna link everything on stock x because i feel like that's probably the easiest for everyone to get shoes from when it comes to like jordans and stuff then i have these i think these are mids um oh they're so washed out i don't know if you can oh there we go i got these on asos a while ago and i kind of like them because they have white in them but they also have a bit of cream like they're not all white i hope you can kind of tell do you see it right there? Like this is kind of cream and then this is white. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are mids. I don't really wear them as much anymore, but when I, these were like my first Jordans that I got. I'm gonna try to find a link for these. I don't know if I can find the exact ones because um, the ones that I have seen on StockX are like all white. So I don't know if they have these on there, what the exact name is, but I'm gonna try to find them for you. So next up, I have a pair of boots. These are my favorite. These are my babies. I don't wear them during summer and spring. These are definitely my like fall winter boots, but I got these last fall i think and i've been eyeing them for like over a year was debating on the patent leather and the smooth leather i do have to say the smooth leather does get damaged quite fast as you can tell um but these are my babies i love these i can't wait to wear these again during fall winter i think they're the perfect fit i love how chunky the sole is and yeah these are amazing but they are really expensive these are by prada um, so I'm gonna try to find some dupes down below because there's a bunch out there if you don't want to spend that much money Which I totally get I will have some dupes down below But I had to get the real ones because I just love them so much Also, just want to say I'm not trying to brag or anything in this video I never really buy shoes like very often So I like to kind of splurge on them every now and then same goes for bags I just I have so many clothes and I Don't really spend much money on shoes and bags. So whenever I do I like to you know Get something designer just to treat myself. Oh, I have a pair of flip-flops right here, which I haven't worn out yet, but these are from Pull and Bear. Do you have to say they're not really comfortable? They're just these platform flip-flops. I'll probably take them on vacation. They are really light though, which is nice. I have these boots, which I literally never wear. I think they're from... 
yeah they're from monkey so they look like this with a heel i just never wear heels i can't walk in them they're uncomfortable but this is kind of like a boot that i wanted to keep i really like how the like the toe is like square which i really like and i'm honestly just keeping these because i feel like i'll have something fancy someday where i'll need to wear these two and this is kind of better than a heel so okay, so these boots i've actually worn a lot last fall winter they look like this and they're from zara they're like these um knee-high boots and i really really like the the platform on these they're really flattering and then this is quite like stretchy so they're not gonna be too tight i loved wearing this with like dresses um like sweater dresses and skirts especially when i didn't there's so much dust in here i'm so sorry our apartment is like newly built so we have dust like literally every second like i can clean my table and then an hour later it'll have dust on it so my shoes are dusty <laughs> i love wearing this when i don't want to wear tights because they obviously go up to your knees so they do keep you kind of warm and then wearing like a dress on top like i can get away with not wearing tights during fall winter so these are really cute i don't know if zara still sells these but if i can find them i will leave a link Ooh, okay, so these boots, I feel like are everyone's like dream boots. Naked Wolfie, I think that's how you pronounce their brand. Reach out to me if I wanted some gifting, and I was like, I need to get these boots. So these are like their knee-high, chunky heel boots. I don't know what the exact name is. Literally, their brand is so cool. They have such cool heels as well. It's too bad I don't ever wear heels or else I would have bought all of them. But are these not amazing? I feel like I have to wear these on my birthday. I feel like I have to. I don't know what I'm wearing on my birthday yet, but I'll make it work. They are really expensive though. I'm going to see if I can find some dupes because I feel like these aren't in everyone's budget. But if you were thinking of getting these, get them. Like this is your sign to go get them because they are amazing. And they're actually quite easy to walk in. I can never walk in heels, but these are quite easy for me to walk in because the platform's so high and with like the chunk heels super comfortable next up i got my first pair of a dunk lows i want to get some more colors but haven't yet um so i got these these are i think they're called fought and fought and dust i think um so they're like gray with like a little bit of beige i just like keeping my shoes neutral so that i can like wear them with anything so these are like perfect i wear these all the time they're dirty as well um, these work with literally every outfit and they're so comfortable. I think I actually am enjoying dunk clothes more than I'm enjoying Jordan 1s, which is crazy. Um, I just think the fit looks better on me. Like, I don't always like how Jordan 1s look on me. And usually I have my jeans falling on top of my shoe anyway, so it, like, covers half of my Jordans. So might as well just get dunk clothes. And they, the resale price isn't as crazy for most of them, so. These are my Balenciaga tracks. Um, all black. I haven't worn these much yet because I got these kind of the beginning or like during spring because I really wanted black sneakers but I feel like because of the season now like I'm not really wearing much black and especially like something where I want to wear black sneakers. But as soon as fall winter hits these are going to be worn every day. I just really wanted a black like fully black sneaker and I feel like they're really hard to find. Most of them just aren't cute so I decided to pick these up and I'm obsessed with them. These are like the most comfortable um, shoe ever so i also have the track twos in white these get worn so much i've had these for a while and they are probably my most worn shoe it just goes with every outfit it's so comfortable they're not as heavy as the triple s are my necklaces okay like i layer my necklaces and sometimes they like choke me out this is definitely my most worn shoe 10 out of 10 recommend if you've been thinking about getting these i definitely would um they are expensive obviously i don't know if i can find a dupe for these i don't think there are um but if you've been thinking about getting them i would definitely recommend because you are going to wear these every day and they will go with every outfit so next up i got a pair of air forces they look like this um these are the tear off ones and i haven't actually torn the rest yet all i did was a swoosh because it was actually a lot harder than I expected so I kind of got lazy but I need to tear all of this off it's in the color of fauna brown I think I said brown like neutral colors and pink um as soon as I tear these off I'll show you guys but I've just been too lazy and I kind of also like the look of just having the pink swoosh so I've just been wearing them like this obviously air forces are always comfortable my faves i just realized i have two more pairs of air force downstairs i should definitely grab those before i forget so i got these two um they're both the 
shadow i think they're called shadow so these ones have the orange detail on it i've had these i think since last summer so comfortable so cute i'm out of breath from running up the stairs this is my sign that i need to start working out again oh my god i love wearing these when i am wearing quite a neutral outfit but i just want a pop of color I think these do that really well. Might be a bit dirty. And then these are also the shadows, but these I customized myself, I think, last summer. So I just got, like, leather paint and stuff, and I made cow print. But I've worn these for, like, so many things. These ended up being, like, my dog walk shoes. Like, these have gone so dirty. So, I mean, as you can tell, there's, like, stains and stuff. So these are kind of my quick shoes if I have to run out the door really quickly or if I need to do something where my feet are gonna get dirty and I like the cow print that I did and it actually lasted pretty well it just creased a little over there but yeah totally I feel like that was kind of a phase where everyone was customizing their shoes but I think it's still really cute so if you want to do it go ahead like just get a pair of air forces and customize them because just makes them a bit different than you know others so so these I actually got in like two days ago because I'm working with snipes and puma on Instagram so these are I don't know what the exact name is of these i always get puma shoes in a 37 because they fit quite small i think they're quite cute with like the hot pink it doesn't really show on camera as much sure i'll get some wear out of them but these are won't be like my go-to shoes but i do think they're really cute especially if you want a bit of a more narrow sneaker not as much of a dad shoe these would be really nice and i think they also have it in yellow and i'm sure they also just have like all white which can be a really perfect just like white sneaker and they're really comfortable so so these are the nike dunk low disrupts in just black and white i think these are really cute they do fit kind of small in my opinion i got these in a size 36 that explains um i don't think they had a 36 and a half maybe they did uh 36 and a half would have fit perfect but these are just kind of these are cool these are just kind of different i don't wear them that often i kind of forget that i have these sometimes but i think they're really cool and they have these in a lot of different colors so we'll definitely check them out again it's just resale price won't be as crazy as jordan one so that's always great you know oh my god these boots i've worn these so much i've had these for probably like three years these are my doc martens the Jaden, I think they're called Jaden, the platform with the zipper. I Since I got my Prada boots, I don't really wear these anymore. But I also don't want to sell them because I feel like these are great like festival type shoes or like, you know, when you need to wear boots but your feet are going to get dirty. I'm not going to wear my Pradas to the festival ever. So these would still be perfect. And I've worn them in so much. Like the leather is like really soft now. So they're more comfortable. When I first got these so bad dot martens are awful if you can get them like used or like secondhand whatever i would recommend doing that because the leather will have softened a bit more and um, wearing them in when they're new is so bad i used to also have the chelsea boots with a platform but i sold those when i got my prada ones because just didn't make sense to keep them but these are great boots these are so durable um like i said i've had them for like three years there's some creasing but besides that they look so good if these get dirty you can just rinse them off and they're good to go again so if you need a boot for fall winter i would recommend these i'm now gonna go to my sandals before i do that actually i want to talk about the ones i'm wearing right now so these are these look like the yeezy slides but these are actually from ego official they were like so cheap um, I did get them gifted, but they're super cheap. So like, I feel like they look the exact same. I don't, I've never compared them next to like a Yeezy slide, but I did not want to pay like 300 bucks for like a rubber sandal. Like what? I'm not doing that. So I ended up getting these and I love them. So if you want a dupe for the Yeezy slides, I'll leave them down below. 10 out of 10 recommend. They're so comfortable. I actually have another pair of these from Ducey London. I think they're somewhere in my closet. I don't know. Those are real leather and since I'm going on holiday, I didn't want to wear those. So I ended up getting another like dupe for the Chanel because the original was our Chanel. Um, these are from... I think they're from Ego Official as well. So they're basically just like the dad, like Chanel sandal. I think this is an amazing dupe, um, very comfortable. This one is faux leather, which I prefer for my holidays. It's gonna be so hot. I don't wanna walk around in leather shoes. Um, these can be really cute with like socks. 
also without socks, whatever you're into. It's definitely not everyone's cup of tea, but I still think the trend is really cute. So I ended up getting a pair for when I go to Santorini. So um, I know Ducey London has a pair of these, which are really expensive. And I personally just didn't think it was worth it for me because there is we don't have that many warm months in the Netherlands. And I'm, I don't travel that much. So I was like, let me just get a dupe of them. So these are just like faux leather and then faux suede flip-flops i think they're so cute i mean you can wear these casual but i feel like you can also dress these up especially if you're not into heels i think these are a great alternative so i'm really excited to wear these you'll see me style these on my vacation for sure make sure to follow me on my instagram if you want to see my outfits and stuff with these um and they were inexpensive so that's obviously a plus and i have these which are kind of similar to the ones i just showed but these are from ego and they have a braided like what is this called i don't know i thought these were really cute as well cannot wait to style these do have to say they're all a bit uncomfortable like by the toe i just don't have that I, I don't like how that feels anyways but i might get those like silicone thingies that you put in between so they don't hurt as much these also have like faux suede and then faux leather and then it's braided which i thought was a cute little detail so so lastly i have two pairs of heels to show you because i never wear heels and i have other heels but i don't really like them I'm probably gonna sell them these are the two heels that i feel like i would wear and i'm also gonna bring on holiday the first ones are these from ego i just got these and they are so gorgeous the heel is so cute it's kind of it's like a triangle and i love the color like i can't wait even with this like the hot pink is so amazing and then i also have these from bershka um which i wore in an instagram post for them and they're actually really comfortable so i wanted to keep these because i feel like i could actually wear this out to dinner without breaking my neck so who knows maybe one day i'll become a heels girl but i genuinely don't think i will <laughs> that is pretty much it for this video i think that's my whole shoe collection i think i have some random shoes here and there but since i don't even know where they're at i don't wear them um these are kind of the shoes that i have that i would actually style with outfits and stuff i hope you guys enjoyed it i will leave links to everything down below if something's not sold anymore i'll try to find like a dupe or something um so make sure to check it out it is going to be well not everything but most of it will probably be affiliate linked just so you know i will make a small percentage if you do use my link which you don't have to but it does help me out so just so you know fyi yeah make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and of course subscribe and turn on my post notifications so you'll be notified every time i upload a video also follow me on my instagram because i post on there every single day and make sure to check out my podcast with my best friend luca which we upload an episode on every saturday so if you haven't checked it out yet it'll be linked down below as well thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video